what is up everyone this is too slow and today i'm gonna be reviewing this bumper so i guess this is a known company that sells these bumpers um bent so i guess they save money on shipping if they bend the bumper a little bit and they say that if you put it out in the sun it should go back into shape so um luckily holy crap it is a nice beautiful sunny day incredibly beautiful so um it was raining all week and i don't know how but today they just decided not to rain so it is a perfect day to actually try this out um they said in their settings as i said to leave it out in the sun and it will get its shape eat, um, just on its own so i'm gonna give you guys a first um hands-on experience so i got the bumper like this I don't know what side's up or what side's down. I don't know how they do it, but I've seen videos of this on YouTube and they come out actually pretty good. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna start unwrapping it. Um, can't do it on my own. So I'm gonna do little by little um, clips and show you guys what's going on. So it looks like they just wrap it in the film so that it kind of holds its shape. Because if it didn't have it, it would just be flopping all over the place. But let's see if they got the color right. <laughs> oh, sorry about my hands. I just came back from getting my um, pool table reupholstered or I guess put on new fabric on the pool table. I'll show you guys a, a quick little video. But anyways, so they got the correct color, and they said that they were going to put baby powder on it. So, uh, ooh, I can see it glossy now. So they put baby powder so it doesn't get that much scratched up. So now what we're going to do is see if I can pull it out. Um, I'm just going to pull it out from its thing. So there we have it. Removed it out of its cocoon, and it looks like they provided instructions. Hopefully it's not sensitive material. Get this on the light. It says, thank you for your purchase. You just received your bumper. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> so let's go ahead and cut the tape. Looks like they did get a pretty good amount of coverage on the bumper paint. Let's see. That's what happens when you want to do it with one hand, see this? <laughs> I'm such a noob right now. Alright, that's done. Oh, that's already cut, so let's start unraveling it. So, I already went ahead and removed it from the packaging. Luckily, my recycle bin is here, so I'll go ahead and dispose of those. But, I can't really see if there's any imperfections in the paint because of the baby powder that they put. Um, but they said that they're gonna put baby powder to make sure that the paint doesn't or the clear doesn't get scratched up. But um, just by feeling it, oof, right here it feels really rough. Yep, rough, rough, rough right here. Looks like they didn't get some decent coverage right here. So I'm a little disappointed there, but see it's one of those things like, oh, you won't see the bumper from that area, so why do you need it to be clear? Like. It's just just the little details I see, but my main concerned areas is obviously the stretched areas right here. So, so I want to make sure that the creased areas are not bad and they're looking okay. Just obviously needs to get its shape back. So I'm going to go to the supermarket right now, get some groceries real quick, and hopefully when I come back, it kind of starts taking its shape and we can throw it on the Corolla over there. So I'm watching Angry Video Game Nerd. Don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm just going to let this play in the background with the Christmas tree. But um, I just wanted to say real quick that 
keeping it in the sun didn't really do much so I'm just using a heat gun that I got from Home Depot and it's doing a lot um, it's doing the job a lot easier and quicker yeah. all I'm doing is just keeping it from a distance I let it warm up I let it warm up and then I hold its position and I let it sit there for like a good minute and it's done I already got that side completed so just gotta finish this side so here's the old bumper and you can see previous owner did a good damage to it good amount of damage to it he tried to um, he did ground control maybe he had ground control lowering springs so this is broken and he cut off the whole bottom grill i don't know why um valences are still good so i'm gonna go ahead and swap those over they do have some scratches on the bottom but you know no one's gonna see that and new owner can really deal with it if he really wants to but i'm just gonna go ahead and just swap over the fog lights i'll probably buff them out real quick and i'll leave the license plate off just in case the new owner wants to put it on or not but check out the bumper man <laughs> let me set it down sorry guys i got the sniffles right now but turned out pretty good i'm actually happy i'm actually impressed so i'm gonna go ahead and finish swapping over everything shouldn't take too long so one thing i did see when i was cleaning it up is there's a crease right here Look at that it's pretty noticeable but luckily the valence goes over it so you won't even be able to see it um pretty sure it's on this side as well yeah it's right here look so you got creases on both sides right there and what I just showed you guys right here, really noticeable. So, not a fan of it. So there you have it, guys. That is the bumper. It actually looks pretty good. I'm going to rate the paint a 8 out of 10. It does have its imperfections. I did see some orange peel right here. Look at that. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Look at that. There you go. Orange peel. All that's in the paint. No, on the clear, on the base coat, I should say. But it's all right here, this whole area. You can see it really well. So, it's whatever. I'm not going to be too concerned about it because if it was my car, then yeah, but it's not. I'm going to be selling this car. So, if you guys are in the market for an XRS, this one is for sale. Has a little bit over 200,000 miles. Uh, just polished up the headlights. Um... Did a really quick job nothing too fancy this one's a little bit hazy so i might have to sand it down with like 2000 grit or something but other than that on the sides um fitment is a little bit okay um hopefully it does settle up when uh it's in the sun for a little bit but it doesn't want to sit flush and i don't know i can't really fix it that well Maybe it'll fix itself when the sun hits it, but for right now, that, that will do. See, it's not that bad, but it's noticeable. This side's worse. So if you guys are concerned about that, that's gonna be an issue. See, but other than that, it's okay. One last pick before I head on out. Gotta get that side angle pick for you guys that might want to buy it. There you go. Side angle pick that way. And then we'll take one over here. Just for the thumbnails. Thumbnail. Cool. So I got my thumbnail pictures now. And this is a pretty good XRS. Ships like butter. Runs pretty good. Um, I just got to get it smogged and registered. So just a little quick interior shots. Um, it does have an aftermarket head unit with USB and Bluetooth and I guess phone calling. Um, six speed manual, extremely nice looking shift knob. The chrome is still intact, you can see. And here, let me turn on the light. Not that bright, but I mean, it does the job. But anyways, um, let's see if, oh yeah, all the lights work except the clock. It's a little faded both cubbies work though what 
Yeah, I had to get this one off neck off, off of Corolla S at the junkyard. Um, a lot of people say these look better because the like the silver kind of looks riced out, like someone that decided to paint their interior panels, whatever you know. But has about 214 on the odometer. No check engine lights, but it does have the airbag light on because the clock spring does not work. It is very common for the ninth generation Corolla and the first generation Matrix to have that issue with the clock spring. But everything else works in here. AC blows cold, heater works. Um, really clean interior. I could get you guys another video when I guess it's during the daylight, but just a quick little video, you know, for you guys. But other than that, do I recommend the bumper? If you guys are, are like in a pinch, don't want to wait for pick and pull because that's what i was doing i was waiting for pick and pull to get like a corolla s silver bumper but i could not find one it's been already like i don't know when's the last time i uploaded a video of this car that's the time i from now i've been looking for a bumper haven't found one at pick and pull so it is what it is um as i was going to say um why did i not go with my painter to get the bumper like let's say i could go to to online and get one that's not painted for a hundred dollars and go get it with my painter see the thing is my painter is going to charge me about a hundred dollars just to paint the bumper that includes his materials his time and his work it's hundred bucks and then i go buy the bumper for a hundred dollars because that's that's about what i see them on ebay 120 ish for a new one that's just primer and then he lives about an hour away, an hour from me he lives in sacramento so I have to drive out there and back, and that's about maybe a good half a tank of gas for my Corolla or my Matrix, whatever. And it's gas is expensive right now, so that's gonna be about $25 to $30 in just driving out to Sac and back, maybe less, who knows? I'm kind of just stretching it out here. And that's about an hour or two hours, four hours total, because I would have to go drop it off and then pick it back up so that's four hours out of my life gone just from driving to Sacramento and back. And it's just going to add up to the final cost of like $300 that the bumper cost me off eBay. So at the end of the day, I just decided to get the eBay one. It is a little bit more expensive. The paint quality is good on it. Um, and I just had to wait for it. Honestly, I didn't have to do nothing to it. Uh, you guys saw the whole process. So... Would I recommend it? Yeah, if you're in a pinch and you live like like in an apartment and you can't DIY it yourself, go for it. But you can source it cheaper and I'm okay with it. I'm fine with it, whatever. Moving on, next video.